Excessive speed? A. Does not increase the chance of a crash. B. Increases your ability to react to a hazard. C. Often leads to high-risk decision-making. C. Often leads to high-risk decision-making. Excessive speed is one of the most common contributing factors to vehicle crashes. Excessive speed does not save time and often leads to high-risk decision-making. Alcohol is a. A stimulant. b. An antihistamine. c. A depressant. c. A depressant. Alcohol is a depressant that dulls your judgment and makes your reflexes unreliable. You can drive off the road to pass another vehicle? a. If the vehicle ahead is turning left. b. If there are two or more lanes traveling in your direction. c. Under no circumstances. c. Under no circumstances. You may never drive off the paved or main traveled portion of the road and onto the shoulder to pass another vehicle. Using a cell phone while operating a motor vehicle is considered a distraction because a. It causes the driver to be concerned about the cost of the call. b. It occupies the driver's hands, eyes, and mind. c. It is an activity that draws the attention of other drivers. b. It occupies the driver's hands, eyes, and mind. Using a cell phone while driving is dangerous because it occupies the user's eyes, hands, and mind. Even the most skilled drivers increase their risk of being involved in a crash by using a cell phone on the road. Want to issue DMV test? Go to CheatSheets.com and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. Before you change lanes, you should check your mirrors and A. Never look over your right shoulder. B. Always slow down in your traffic lane. C. Glance over your shoulder. C. Glance over your shoulder. Before changing lanes, it is very important to check behind you. You should look over your shoulder to ensure that you are not getting in the way of vehicles in the lane you want to enter. Before changing lanes, you should also ensure that no drivers are attempting to drive into the same spot from a different lane. Dim your headlights for oncoming vehicles or when you are within 300 feet of a vehicle. A. That you are approaching from behind. B. Approaching you from behind. C. That you have already passed. A that you are approaching from behind. You are required to dim your headlights to low beams within 500 feet of a vehicle that is coming toward you and within 300 feet of a vehicle that you are following. You are driving on the freeway behind a large truck. You should drive a closer behind the truck than you would if following a passenger vehicle. B farther behind the truck than you would if following a passenger vehicle. c. to the right side of the truck and wait to pass. b. farther behind the truck than you would if following a passenger vehicle. it is necessary to follow farther behind a large truck than you would if following a passenger vehicle because trucks have larger blind spots. Increase your following distance when driving behind a large vehicle. A. To better see around the sides of the vehicle. B. Because other drivers tend to pull behind large vehicles before trying to pass them. C. Because following too closely will get you caught in the vehicle's slipstream. A. To better see around the sides of the vehicle. Drivers of trucks, buses, vans, and any vehicles pulling campers or trailers may not be able to see you if you are driving directly behind them.
Increase your following distance when driving behind one of these vehicles. Additionally, large vehicles can block your view of the road, so increase your following distance to look around the sides of the vehicle and see the road ahead. This white sign means A. The railroad crossing is controlled. Continue at your regular speed. B. Look, listen, and prepare to stop at the crossing if necessary. C. Stop at the railroad tracks and wait for a signal before crossing. B. Look, listen, and prepare to stop at the crossing if necessary. When approaching a railroad crossing, you must look, listen, slow down, and prepare to stop. Let any trains pass before you proceed. Smoking inside a vehicle with a person younger than 18 years of age is A. Legal if it is your child. B. Illegal at all times. C. Not restricted by law. B. Illegal at all times. In California, it is illegal to smoke in a vehicle at any time when a minor is present. A distraction when driving is A. Anything that causes evasive action while driving. B. Anything that takes your attention away from driving. C. Anything that causes you to pay more attention to driving. B. Anything that takes your attention away from driving. A distraction when driving is anything that takes your attention away from driving. Driver distractions may occur anytime and anywhere. Distracted driving can cause collisions, resulting in property damage, injury, and death. You must notify the DMV within five days if you A. Are cited for a traffic violation. B. Sell or transfer your vehicle. C. Paint your vehicle a different color. B. Sell or transfer your vehicle. You are required by law to contact the DMV within five calendar days from the date you sell or transfer the title of a vehicle to another owner. They must be notified of every title transfer. Adjust your rear view and side mirrors? A. Before you start driving. B. Whenever you need to use them. C. Before you get into the car. A. Before you start driving. Your safety and the safety of other drivers and pedestrians depends a lot on what you do before driving. Before moving your vehicle, you should adjust your seat, adjust your mirrors, fasten your safety belt, and secure items in and on your vehicle. Do not wait until your vehicle is moving to adjust your mirrors. Night driving presents unique problems because A. The speed limit is increased at night. B. There are fewer cars on the roads at night. C. Distance and vehicle speed are difficult to judge in the dark. C. Distance and vehicle speed are difficult to judge in the dark. Night driving creates a unique set of problems for drivers. Due to the reduced visibility, it can be difficult to judge distance and the traveling speeds of other vehicles when driving at night. Drivers can see only as far as their headlights allow. Which of the following driving skills is are affected by the use of alcohol and or drugs? A. Alertness. B. Coordination. C. Both of the above. If you miss your exit on the freeway, you should not. A. Continue on the freeway and find an alternate route to your destination. B. Proceed to the next exit, leave the freeway, and return to your proper exit. C. Back up on the road or shoulder. C. Back up on the road or shoulder. If you miss your turn or exit, do not back up in the travel lane or on the shoulder. Continue to drive to the next exit or crossroad.
drivers do not expect a vehicle to be backing toward them on the roadway and doing so will likely cause a collision. A pedestrian starts to cross the street after the, don't walk, signal begins to flash. The pedestrian is in the middle of the street when your signal light changes to green. You should a. Proceed if you have the right of way. b. Proceed if the pedestrian is not in your lane. c. Wait until the pedestrian crosses the street before proceeding. What is an important step in turning? a. Check traffic in all directions. b. Increase your speed. c. Always move to the left lane. A. Check traffic in all directions. When turning, you should look to the rear and both sides of your vehicle to ensure it is safe to proceed before making the turn. Adjust your speed to safely complete the turn. When changing lanes on a freeway, you should A. Signal for at least 5 seconds. B. Slow down before you start to change lanes. C. Assume there is enough space in the next lane for your vehicle, if you signal first. A. Signal for at least 5 seconds. Signal at least 5 seconds prior to a changing lanes on a freeway. Always signal when turning left or right, changing lanes, slowing down, or stopping to let other drivers, motorcyclists, bicyclists, and pedestrians know your intentions. If a child is riding a bicycle near your vehicle, a. Beep your horn. b. Expect the child to be in total control of the bicycle. c. Expect the unexpected. If you are driving on a highway next to a single broken white line marking, a. You cannot cross the line to pass. b. You may cross the line to pass and change lanes. c. You may only cross the line to change lanes if you are in the left lane. b. You may cross the line to pass and change lanes. White lines separate lanes of traffic moving in the same direction. You may cross a dashed white line to pass or change lanes if it is safe to do so. Always carefully look for motorcycles before you change lanes because a. Their small size can make them hard to see. b. They usually have the right of way at intersections. c. It is illegal for motorcycles to share traffic lanes. a. Their small size can make them hard to see. You should check carefully for motorcycles when changing lanes because their small size makes it easy for them to disappear into your blind spots. The safest precaution that you can take when using cellular phones while driving is a. To use hands-free devices so you can keep both hands on the steering wheel. b. To keep your phone within easy reach so you won't need to take your eyes off the road. C. To review the number before answering a call. You are approaching an intersection where a traffic signal is displaying a steady yellow light. If you have not already entered the intersection, you should A. Speed up to beat the red light. B. Reduce your speed and proceed carefully through the intersection. C. Come to a safe stop. C. Come to a safe stop. At an intersection controlled by a steady yellow light, you should bring your vehicle to a safe stop. If you are already within the intersection when the light changes from green to yellow, continue through the intersection at a safe speed. If oncoming headlights are blinding you while you are driving at night, you should A. Look toward the right edge of the road. B. Switch your lights to high beams. C. Turn your lights on and off. A. Look toward the right edge of the road.
If the headlights of an oncoming vehicle are blinding, glance toward the right edge of the road instead of looking directly ahead. This should keep your vehicle safely on the road until you pass the oncoming vehicle. A pentagon-shaped sign is a A. Stop sign B. Regulatory sign C. School zone or school crossing sign C. School zone or school crossing sign A five-sided sign is used to alert drivers to a school zone. Some pentagonal signs specifically indicate crosswalks within school zones where children or other pedestrians may be present. A broken yellow line between two lanes of traffic means A. Both lanes of traffic are going in the same direction. B. Passing is permitted when it's safe. C. Passing is not permitted. B. Passing is permitted when it's safe. Dashed yellow lines separate single lanes of traffic moving in opposite directions. Passing is allowed when there is no oncoming traffic in the passing lane. You are driving on the freeway. The vehicle in front of you is a large truck. You should drive a closely behind the truck in bad weather because the driver can see farther ahead than you can. b farther behind the truck than you would when following a passenger vehicle. c no more than one car length behind the truck so the driver can see you. b farther behind the truck than you would when following a passenger vehicle. When you follow so closely behind a truck that you cannot see the truck driver's side view mirrors, the trucker cannot see you and has no way of knowing you are there. Tailgating a truck, or any vehicle, is dangerous because you take away your own cushion of safety if the vehicle in front of you stops quickly. When parking next to a curb, you should use your turn signals. A. Only when pulling away from the curb. B. When pulling next to, but not away from, the curb. C. When pulling next to or away from the curb. C. When pulling next to or away from the curb. Drivers should signal when pulling next to a curb or away from a curb. A blood alcohol concentration of 0.02% A. Won't have any effect on your driving. B. Won't put other drivers at risk. C. Will double your chances of having an accident. C. Will double your chances of having an accident. Every 0.02% increase in blood alcohol concentration nearly doubles a driver's risk of being in a fatal crash. When you want to change lanes, you should never a. move into another lane while within an intersection b. check your blind spot by looking over your shoulder c. check for other drivers moving into the same lane a. move into another lane while within an intersection you should never change lanes within an intersection before changing lanes, always look over your shoulder to check your blind spot be alert to other drivers moving into the same lane. It is very foggy. You should slow down and a. Turn on your emergency flashers. b. Turn your lights to their high beam setting. c. Turn your lights to their low beam setting. c. Turn your lights to their low beam setting. Use your low beams when driving in fog, snow, rain, or mist. Light from high beams will reflect off of precipitation, causing a glare and making it even more difficult to see. Some vehicles are equipped with fog lights that should be used in addition to low beam headlights. After passing a vehicle, it is safe to return to your driving lane when a. The driver you passed signals for you to return to your lane. B. 
You signal your intention for three seconds. C. You see the headlights of the past vehicle in your rearview mirror. You have stopped for a train at a railroad crossing. After the train passes, you should A. Wait for signal lights to stop flashing. B. Look for a second train. C. Both of the above. C. Both of the above. Even after a train passes, watch out for a second train approaching on any track. Do not proceed until all gates have been lifted and all warning signals have stopped flashing. It is illegal to leave a child age, fill in the blank, or younger alone in a vehicle. A. 8. B. 7. C. 6. C. 6. It is never a good idea to leave a child unattended in a car. It is illegal to leave a child who is age 6 or younger unattended in a vehicle. A child may be left in a car if they are under the supervision of a person age 12 or older. If you want to pass a bicyclist riding on the right edge of your lane, A. You must honk your horn before passing the bicyclist. B. You must not squeeze past the bicyclist. C. You may not pass the bicyclist for any reason. B. You must not squeeze past the bicyclist. When passing a bicyclist, you must allow at least three feet of space between your vehicle and the bicycle whenever possible. You must not squeeze the bicyclist off the road. If you are getting tired while driving, you should A. Stop and either get rest or change drivers. B. Drink something with caffeine. C. Open a window. A. Stop and either get rest or change drivers. To avoid the dangers of fatigued driving, take breaks every hour or so during a long trip. If possible, share driving responsibilities with another person so you can each sleep while the other person drives. If you are being followed too closely on a two-lane road, A. Reduce your speed slowly to encourage the tailgater to drive around you. B. Speed up to increase the distance between you and the other car. C. Apply your brakes to slow down, then resume your original speed. A. Reduce your speed slowly to encourage the tailgater to drive around you. If you are being followed too closely by another driver, merge into a different lane. If there is no lane available for merging, wait until the road ahead is clear and slowly reduce your speed. This will encourage the tailgater to drive around you. The first thing that alcohol affects is A. Vision B. Judgment C. Balance Stopping distances and severity of crashes? A. Decrease as vehicle speed increases. B. Are not affected by vehicle speed. C. Increase as vehicle speed increases. C. Increase as vehicle speed increases. Stopping distances are longer and crashes are more severe when traffic travels at higher speeds. This road sign means A. Hospital B. Upcoming intersection C. Railroad crossing B. Upcoming intersection Warning signs provide notice to road users of a situation that might not be readily apparent and are usually yellow with black markings. This sign warns drivers of an upcoming intersection so they may prepare for potential traffic or prepare to turn. Which of the following factors affect an individual's absorption of alcohol? A. Weight. B. Height. C. Intelligence. A. Weight. 
Factors affecting a person's absorption of alcohol include the person's weight, their biological sex, the amount of food in their digestive tract, and the number of alcoholic beverages they have consumed. The only thing to do to remove alcohol from a person's system is to wait. When driving on gravel or dirt roads. A. Your tires grip the road better than when you are driving on pavement. B. Your tires do not have as much traction as they do on pavement, so you must slow down. C. Visibility is better than on pavement. B. Your tires do not have as much traction as they do on pavement, so you must slow down. Your tires do not have as much traction on loose gravel and dirt roads as they do on concrete and asphalt roads. When driving on gravel or dirt, you must slow down. It will take you much longer to stop and it is much easier to skid when turning. It is unlawful to a. Pass another vehicle in any marked no passing zone. b. Pass another vehicle over a railroad crossing. c. Both of the above. c. Both of the above. It is illegal to cross the center line to pass when driving on hills, in curves, and in other locations where you cannot see ahead far enough to pass safely. You may not pass at street crossings, at railroad crossings, where signs indicate no passing zones, or where a solid yellow line is next to your lane. You may not pass when the vehicle in front of you has stopped for a pedestrian or when driving in work zones where passing would be hazardous. To improve visibility lowered by rain or fog, drivers should use their A. Low beam headlights. B. High beam headlights. C. Parking lights. A. Low beam headlights. Use low beam headlights when driving in rain, snow, sleet, or fog. High beam headlights in adverse weather conditions lower visibility by reflecting off the precipitation and back into the driver's eyes. Fatigue increases the risk of a. Missing an exit. b. Being late for an appointment. c. Falling asleep behind the wheel and crashing. c. Falling asleep behind the wheel and crashing. Fatigue causes errors related to speed and distance, increases your risk of being in a crash, and causes you to take more time to make decisions. When you are fatigued, you could fall asleep behind the wheel and crash, injuring or killing yourself or others.